not ready. Hold on. فينا نأخذ صورة بغداد. Max. فينا نأخذ في 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 جرات في بغداد. مش بينا. Okay. You can go to your to the next item. I don't have any correspondence with Bagdad right now. Okay. Let me just bring you up to date. The Americans are deploying all around. We just heard a large tank round go up. But let's go over here and talk to the guys. Unfolding the uh, stars and stripes. What's your name, mate? What's your name? Miguel Jimenez. Good to see you. <laughs> Get that flag going. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Geographically, what are we looking at? Whereabouts is this? What does it actually mean, this point where the coalition troops... Well, this is one of the, the main squares in Baghdad. It's a kind of focal point. Uh, I suppose for the British viewers, it's kind of like Trafalgar Square. Is that a statue of Saddam? Um, I can see the... Okay, right. يا سلام ما فيش عسكري ما فيش حارس ما في بوليس بلدية يدافع يا حرام وين اختفوا العسكر انه نعمل بحالنا هيك يعني مهما كان اللي بيكرهوا للنظام او, أو مش طايقينه او شيء بس انه عيب علينا نعمل هيك بحالنا قدام العالم قدام I just I still can't believe it. It's, uh, I, I don't know what to say really. It's, I, I can't. I, it's it's for us. It's it's really shocking how quickly the, uh, the regime fell. Where is the Republican Guard? Where is the Iraqi Army? There must be somewhere. <laughs> they couldn't have just vanished. A lot of young men and women who died to make this moment happen, guys. Yes. A lot of reporters, too. Good morning, Katie. I am here with the Director of Strategic Communications for United States Central Command. What are the most striking images that you've seen so far? Well, I think the most striking images are anytime you see uh, women, children, and men in Iraq celebrate. Uh, these are good images. Uh, it, it's important images and clearly they're, they're happy. They're, they're almost liberated if not fully liberated. You look at these pictures and you have to stop and take a second and remember those, those Americans and UK soldiers and others who have died to make these moments happen. Thank you very much for your insights this morning. Katie, back to you. Thanks a lot. Wasn't that Thank powerful? You, you just Thank think you. all the folks that died to make those moments happen. It's, uh, yep. it's amazing. Is that okay? Yes, come back to us though. Thank you. You did great. You did great. The Americans played the media element intelligently. On the 9th of April, the American troops went down the Ferdos Square. It was a show. It was a media show after having bombed Al Jazeera and some part of Abu Dhabi television. They did their show. They brought with them some people, supposedly Iraqis, cheering up. These people were not Iraqis. I lived in Iraq. I was born there. I was raised there. Okay? I can recognize an Iraqi accent. For me, the most telling part was when the American soldier hung the American flag over Saddam's head. I think somebody must have told him, don't be that obvious. We didn't tell you to do this. Put it down. There's not a sense of celebration. It's a sense of relief. They, they're they seeing Saddam Hussein disappearing. That makes them feel like a big burden is taken off their shoulders. But they're not welcoming the Americans as true liberators. It was a very clever idea what they did. Of course, they did it on purpose. They knew they were coming to the square where all the journalists were, where everybody was going to be live and was going to forget everything else that they had done. They, they were going to forget 24 hours what had happened. They were going to forget all the civilian casualties. They were going to forget everything. All they, that was going to be remembered was the statue. And I bet you they, they brought in these, these teenage guys who like broke the statue, put it down. They brought them in with them. Because if you notice, they're all sort of the same age. 
no women and they they all went in and it was the same people on the square you couldn't see more people gathering from the houses around no one came down to the street to see what was happening because people are scared and these people who came in how come did, how come one of them had the flag of iraq before 1991 in his pocket has he just been waiting there for 10 years with a flag on that square <laughs> i don't think so but this is not something that the U.S. like media would talk about. The show was meant for the international media. Here we are in Baghdad. The war is finished. Major combat operations in Iraq have ended. In the Battle of Iraq, the United States and our allies have prevailed. The regime of Saddam Hussein has passed into history. Thanks to the courage and the might of our military, the American people are more secure. Thanks to the courage and might of our military, the Iraqi people are now free. Now that Iraq is liberated, the United Nations should lift economic sanctions on that country. The whole war actually is like an American movie. You know the end. You know who's the hero. You know the bad guys. <laughs> They're going to die. <laughs> and, but you still watch because you want to know how it's going to happen and what, what weapons they're going to use to like, do it. So, I mean, we lost Tariq. I still can't believe that. You know, I, I, still, I, st I still cannot like, sort of get into it. And then we lost Baghdad. <laughs> And then what are we going to lose next? Do you know where the Baghdad is and the people of Mosul and how they're organizing their lives as from maybe this morning or this afternoon? From mosques now. By using the loudspeakers, there is no other way of communication. There is no government, no authority, no civil order. They're carrying sticks and things to defend their property. I mean, these people, I see, these, these are all Peshmerga. Look at them. They are the Kurds, the, the ones who helped the Americans throughout this campaign. They're walking out with sackfuls of money. And you know why they, they are ripping them to pieces? Because in the Kurdish areas, they use a different, the old version of the Iraqi dinar. This is meaningless. That's why they... We're in the middle of anarchy. All right, I want you to find out what it was that stuff that was they were throwing in the air, whether that was like their old currency. Hilarious. It's almost like the price is right. Woo. Looting was done by Iraqis. That's the bottom line. And so it was really done under the noses of the Iraqi population. I mean, the question is who did the looting? I think that's also another issue. Well, according to Brooks, I mean, that, that answer today was just ridiculous. He suggested that Iraqis were somehow supposed to be responsible for preventing the looting at that time, which you say is still during intense combat operations. How some person with a conscience was supposed to stop a bunch of riled up looters from going into the museum, I don't know. I mean, you needed a tank there and guys with guns to stop it.